Hi, I'm Megan Jean Morris. And I'm and James Vaughn. And, and who are you? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hi, I'm Megan Jean Morris. And I'm James Vaughn. And I guess we're about to do this ink box challenge. Let's see what's in this thing. Got two envelopes. Going for orange. Yeah. All dang. Welcome to the ink box challenge. Inside the box, each of you have a marker. You have 10 minutes to draw something that tells a story. You cannot pick up your marker once you place it on your paper. Once you place it on the paper. Once you place it on the paper. <laughs> you keep your nose to the ground, so It's down, it's down. Ink Master fans will determine the winner. Hmm. Do we have a time to think about it for a second? Or we just go jamming? I'm thinking, yeah. Well, <laughs> you're like, mm -hmm. Are we supposed to brainstorm together? Oh, no, no, you okay. got your own. I have my own, okay. Well, you let me know when you want your time to start. Um, uh, okay. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Should I decide difficult or simple? I'm going difficult, so I may need to narrate the story later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in our time, Starts now. now. I'm thinking about an exosketch over here. I'm like, ah. <laughs> Shit. I think we got a whole lot of concentration going on here. There's a lot going on. I'm trying so hard to remember not to pick my pen up. Crap. Are you having fun yet? Oh. <laughs> Be cheating on me over here. I'm not cheating. It's terrible. But fun. It's all for the kids. And the fans. It's way harder than, you know, expected in this, you know, the thought process of, you know, not having to pick up your freaking pencil or pen. It's <laughs> terrible. I just don't, I don't know if the story is going to be very entertaining for too many people. Is it, you know? <laughs> Unless they like. Is it G? Cats. <laughs> it's just, you know, the difficulty of, you know, you know training, t telling your mind that, you know, this is, uh, this is, you can't put your p pencil down or your pen down. You have to choose where you're going to leave some lines. And so you have to choose, like, what will be, what will mess it up the, the least. This is reminding me what ridiculous challenges we're about to be facing <laughs> and how that you can never you excited know about, what's going to be coming. Are you excited about, um, you know, I hope judging? My, I hope the people we're coaching don't have to see these drawings. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm not sure they'll trust us. Probably not. Did you lift your pen off the paper? It's like one of those games where you... You gotta figure out what somebody's drawing when the, you have no idea what they're drawing. I can't concentrate. I can't talk. I'm trying so hard. Every other thought is like, don't lift your pen up. <laughs> <laughs> Try this at home. It makes you think. It makes you think about all the cool stuff you could do. I wish I drew a different story, but it's too late now. I feel like mine's a little too revealing about my personal life. You like cats? <laughs> Where does Sharpie out? It's all about the stories, the stories, the stories. I think this is a peaceful love story that I've told over here. Mine like? is about breakfast at my house. Some people have friends and families. Some people have cats. <laughs> Some people kick it with their boyfriends. Some people kick it with their cats. <laughs> it's all good company. James, 
I think it's been 10 minutes. Okay. Are you done? <laughs> I'm afraid to lift my pen up and paper. Yeah. Okay, we're done. <laughs> All right, ready? I'm ready. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Let me see what you got. I have the cracker. Yeah. <laughs> Protecting her treasure underwater with some coral. <laughs> I see. I can see your story. Yeah, you know. We got waves underwater, but you know, had to had to create some. So it's coral sea sponge. <laughs> Octopus. Octopus. Yep. And a little treasure chest action. All right, Rad. I gotcha. <laughs> Look at you. This is me waking up in the morning, and I have actually really messy curly hair. I've straightened it for the I would public. Never, I would have yes. never would have guessed. I know. So in the morning. Uh, that's an alarm clock. You can't, I couldn't lift my pa my pen you're, you're, off the paper. You're buzzing. <laughs> yeah. So I'm in bed. That's my kitty cat. We kind of stretch out at the same time. We pretty much sit at the table together. She has a chair that she sits on next to mine. And I look at her and just think, the audacity. You got a whole damn comic strip going on. Damn. If, if, you did an amazing job. America's going to love this shit. <laughs> I was on season one. And so here we go. Do. You had to bring it up that uh, you were well, on you season know, one. The, the, there's only you know one OG that keeps coming back because mm -hmm. you know America does. Well, then love you me. should be ready for this. <laughs> I think right. America should vote for me. Down below in your comments, let us know if I told a story clearly. Or you might vote for me just because I'm the OG. <laughs> My story is amazing. Um, I just love doing art. I love this. Uh, I love this competition and. It's awesome. Leave your comments below. Love it.